Well, hello there, everyone. How are you doing today? It is, let me think here, what's a good word? Super Saturday, how's that? December 24th, 2022. That means it's Christmas Eve. So no matter what time or no matter where you're in the world, of course, it might not be the same day as here when you see this, but happy Christmas Eve to all of you because Christmas is kind of celebrated most places in the world, not 100%, but but most people all around the world probably know what Christmas is. So anyway, happy Christmas Eve. So anyway, I'm Asky Finance, coming to you from Chile, South Florida today. <laughs> anyway, I want to talk to you something about a little bit different today, because I do that at times, don't I? Yep, yep, I'm Masky. I do that at times. So stick with me today. You may learn something you don't know. And that's the goal of my channel, because I share experiences, knowledge, things I've read, things I've learned, et cetera, et cetera, experiences, et cetera, et cetera. And remember, I am not a financial advisor, I am not a CPA, I'm not an attorney, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not nothing at all. I'm just masky. I share my opinion at times. All right, so that being said, here we go. What is more important than investing? There are a variety of things more important than investing, okay? I want to talk about one of them today. It's our personal health. We have to take care of ourselves because for the majority of folks out there, doesn't matter if they invest or they don't invest. Um, it takes time to get to retirement. It takes time to get wealthy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And if you look around at society, things happen to a lot of people. If you look around at a society, people are obese. If you look around at society, diabetes is rampant. If you look around at society, heart disease is prevalent. Uh, look around at society, people still smoke. And so on and so on and so on. Okay, so people are unhealthy. Okay, please stick with me. I want to talk about something a little bit different than just that too. But there's a couple old sayings. We are what we what we eat. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Okay, that's a couple things. All right, so real quick here, I'm sorry. I digress at times just a bit. I want to talk on nutrition slash eating healthy slash trying to eat natural, not stuff that man has created and sold in a box or frozen in the supermarket, okay? So a couple broad categories of things to look at, and I'll have some comments because I try to eat from all these categories, okay? Something simple, something that a lot of people may eat already, but something that a lot of people never eat. And it's easy for you to incorporate this into your daily diet. It is seeds, yes, seeds, you know, from plants, seeds, S-E-E-D. E D S. Does it to me? E's, <laughs> whatever. Seeds. I have eaten seeds periodically, sporadically, in different times. But now I'm going to try to incorporate them daily. Um, two seeds I have currently are chia seeds and flax seeds. Okay. Seeds give. I'm not going to cover all the nutritional benefits of any of these things I talk about, but they give a variety of benefits. Okay. That you may not give that commonly from other foods. An easy way to eat them, because you don't eat it, I don't think you just eat a spoonful of chia seeds. I mean, I guess you could. But what I do, I eat a bowl of oatmeal in the morning. I've done it for whew, a lot of years. And I'm, I won't tell you everything, I'll, put, I'll tell you some more stuff later about the oatmeal. But I now sprinkle a spoon of chia seeds and uh, flax seeds on top of it and mix it up in there. Other seeds that could be considered are sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, um, there's more seeds, okay? And I'm not going to touch broadly on this. They're not, you can't live off seeds, but they're in, something you can add, they're natural, that all have uh, omega-3, omega-6 type stuff. You know, it's good for you, all right? Moving on, fruits and vegetables, all right? Fruits and vegetables, these are very good for us. Most people do not eat enough. You should eat, I don't know, I've heard different things, five, six, seven, eight servings a day of fruits and vegetables. Have a mixture, have a mixture of colors. Okay, some of the top fruits you could try if you haven't eaten these before. Kiwi, do you like kiwi? I love kiwi. Uh, bananas, everybody, everybody knows what banana is. Banana is the most popular eating fruit, I believe. Blackberries. Blackberries and raspberries are both very good. Blackberries are a tad bit better, I think. <clears throat> Blueberries. When I lived in Virginia back in 2009, 2010, 11, 12, 
I planted a total of, I think altogether 12 blueberry bushes. Cause even back then I read about the benefits of blueberries and I found they were one of the easiest plants to grow where I was located at in Virginia. And I got different varieties that sell, that pollinated with each other. So some of them died over the years. So when I sold my house, I didn't have 12 plants still. I had maybe eight or nine or maybe 10, but they had gotten a lot bigger. So when you plant, I got little ones, but they grow fast and they get the bushes, at least the kinds I got. But you can buy them usually in your local supermarket. Um, so blackberries, blueberries, grapefruit. Grapefruit you can get. It has different unique health benefits, vitamins, minerals, different things in it that maybe an orange or a lime or a lemon don't have, even though oranges, limes, and lemons can all be good. Uh, pomegranate, pomegranate fruit. It's a tad expensive, okay? But the seeds are very healthy. They're very good for you. Don't eat the outer part of it, all right? Moving on, because I don't want this to be too long. <clears throat> vegetables, you, you guys know what vegetables are. But broccoli has a lot of be health benefits to it, a lot. All right, sweet potatoes. Most Americans eat white potatoes or yellow potatoes. Sweet potatoes are much better for you. They have fiber, they have different vitamin A, different things. Um, garlic and onions, okay? Real quick, I'm gonna put a link below, I should have said this earlier, for another YouTube channel. He only has like maybe 10 videos altogether. It's a fairly new channel, but he gets hundreds of thousands of views on his channel, okay? Um, but it is Talon, Fitness, T-A-L-O-N, Talent Fitness. He had ranks top seeds, top veggies, top fruits in every category that I'm going to talk about. All right, moving on, another category is beans. You can buy, the most commonly in bean is baked beans. Baked beans rank near the bottom for health benefits. But people might say, oh, they got fiber in them. They got this. They got added sugar. Sugar is an evil thing. Added sugar is an evil thing that is destroying society. It's making us obese. It's giving us diabetes, okay? Try to avoid products that have added sugar. Baked beans have added sugar. There are a lot of other beans. You can buy bags of dried beans. You can buy cans of red kidney beans, black beans, etc. Try to get them without added stuff in them, chemicals or whatnot. The bags are more natural. But with the bags of beans, you need to soak them. You need to wash them. They have tannins and other stuff in them that are bad for you in a way. But by soaking them, you soften them up to make them easier to cook. But you get that stuff out of there to make them healthier. All right, moving on. Let's see, what have I not got? Oh, here is a great one. Nuts. Nuts. You can incorporate nuts into your diet very easy. Okay, you can buy peanuts, you can buy cashews, you can buy pecans, you can buy walnuts, you can buy almonds, um, pistachios, there's a lot of different nuts. Nuts have, most nuts have manganese um, and other vitamins that you don't get as commonly in other foods, okay? They, ha they're all, they all have protein. Yes, they have a lot of calories, yes, they have a lot of fat, but they have omega-3, omega-6, I think it is, in the fats. They're healthy, we need those. So if you incorporate a handful, not a lot, get a mixture of nuts. You can buy mixed nuts. I have in my house four kinds of nuts right now. Almonds, peanuts, cashews, and uh, walnuts, okay? As time goes on, I may have three, I may have five. You know, I just, I, I, get them when, I try to get them when they're on sale because this is a financial channel. So supermarkets routinely might have buy, get, buy one, get one free, or buy two, get one free, or whatever. Get a discount on one. All right, moving on. Um, meat. I will say meat, seafood, um, in general, you have different kinds of meat. I encourage you to buy the type that you like for all this stuff. Buy what you like. Try some new products. Like here's an example of a vegetable that as a kid I didn't like. I need to try, try it again as a grown up. I hated them as a kid. It's beets. You know, the red root vegetable beets. Uh, my father always had a garden, so we had a lot of different kind of things. Um, there was different things I didn't like as a kid, and then as an adult, I learned to like them, certain things. I forget what they are, but because I now eat them, but I forget. But anyway, um, other things to try are spices. Spices you can, again, incorporate into your meal eating. It doesn't matter if you eat a can of soup for lunch. You can sprinkle some spices into it. One of the better spices to get is turmeric or turmeric. I'm not sure the correct way to pronounce it. Turmeric, turmeric. I've heard it pronounced different ways, turmeric. 
Uh, turmeric. <laughs> it's the yellow spice, curry, yep, turmeric. It has a variety of health benefits to it, a variety. Another thing to talk on real quick is your drink of choice. All these energy drinks that so many people are drinking, all the sodas that so many people are drinking, they make you old if not for nothing else. They wear your body out. They're high in sugar. They're high in caffeine. They're high in chemicals and different things. Try to get healthy drinks. Water. It's free. Get clean water. It's free. Um, tea. Tea has so many health benefits. Get decaffeinated if you don't want the caffeine. Black tea, green tea, red tea, white tea. They're all from the tea leaf at different stages of growth. Coffee. Coffee is a bean. They roast it. Dark coffee has less caffeine than light coffee. But you can get decaffeinated coffee as well. Coffee has health benefits. Coffee it's with every with a lot of thing of these things, it's moderation. All right. You don't want to drink eight cups of coffee a day. That's better for you. You don't drink, um, you don't eat nuts all day long because you're gonna probably blow up and get bigger because it's a lot of calories and fat. Okay. You don't eat all fruits. Fruits are high in natural sugars, but they're natural sugar. I'm not saying that you eat 10 mangoes a day because mangoes have high, a lot of sugar. Or I got some dates in the refrigerator. Do you know what dates are? D-A-T-E-S, dates are a fruit. They have a seed in the middle. Um, they have a lot of sugar in them. So you don't go just wah, 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 eat them all, but one or two a day, you know, because they, they are super high in natural sugar. Same with mangoes, they're very high in natural sugar. Um, onions and garlic. Garlic has some of the top antibacterial, antiviral um, properties of almost any food group. I started eating garlic and onions years ago, incorporating them into my diet. Something else I started doing was I used to get a lot of colds, a lot of sinus infections. 10, 12 years ago, I tried something. I Googled something and found it. It was called Sinus Plumber. Now it's like Sinus Buster, I think. I get it off Amazon now. Um, it's a hot pepper nasal spray. When I started using this, I, I don't know how better to say this, but it pretty much eliminated me getting colds and sinus infections. Wiped it out. Even now with COVID, I and the missus have never gotten COVID. Yes, we've gotten our vaccines. Yes, we've gotten boosters. I don't know if that's what's helped us. I don't know if it's the food we eat that's boosted our immune system. Or if, I, if I'm if i out and about and I come back and I got the sniffles, I might do a little couple shots of the, na the hot pepper nasal spray. Maybe it kills off, you know, any virus that's in there. You know, I don't know. Chili peppers, incorporate them into your meal. You got to be careful with them. Everything I'm saying, be careful with. Some people have nut allergies. If you have nut allergies, don't eat them. If you have peanut allergies, don't eat them. Um, there's other food type allergies. You know if you have them, so don't eat them. Find substitutes. Find something different. There's a lot of different food groups. The point of all this that I'm saying, I'm talking fast because there's a lot to cover and I don't want this to be too long. Hopefully you understand me. Is The point of all this is try to eat as natural as you can. Okay? Try to eat as natural as you can. There are some fruits, like the apple a day keeps the doctor away. An apple is good to eat, but it's not the best fruit to eat. So if that's the only th fruit you eat, yes, it's better than nothing. But the fruits I mentioned before, kiwis, bananas, blackberries, blueberries, grapefruit, pomegranate, they're better for you overall than an apple is. But maybe where you live at, in the it's wintertime, it's cold. Maybe apples are the only thing in the supermarket, okay? That's better than nothing, right? Same for vegetables your basic um, corn and green beans and stuff that most Americans eat, they're good for you, but they're kind of ranked down in veggies. Other vegetables like broccoli, sweet potatoes, garlic, onions, and other ones, they rank higher. Okay, Check out Talon Fitness. I will put a link to his channel below. He ranks a lot of vegetables. He ranks a lot of foods. He makes comments. It is better to eat even the lowest rank vegetable or fruit for the most part, over any man-made product, any box, frozen stuff that you might get. You know, there are YouTubers out there who are wealthy who eat a lot of meals in restaurants. I caution them to do this because you don't know exactly what's in their food. They put a lot of salt in them. You don't know how much sugar's in them. Sugar and salt in excess are killing us, okay? You can look healthy on the outside and be unhealthy on the inside, okay? 
it's important to know what you're putting in your body. You got to try to eat as healthy as you can. Now, with that being said, none of us are perfect. I'm not perfect. You may see me in a restaurant one day and maybe I'm eating, I don't know, maybe I'm eating ice cream Sunday. Probably not, but maybe you see me. You're like, Masky, what are you doing eating that Sunday? Maybe it's my once a year Sunday, you know, maybe or whatever it might be. You know, you see what I'm saying? No one's perfect. It's, we live in this world. It's hard to be perfect. Don't try to be perfect. Just do the best you can. It's your body. It's your body. We all are different. We all have different genetic makeups. We all live in different parts of the world. We all have different stages of our health, different stages of our ages, our age. Um, certain things we don't like, certain things someone else may like. I didn't even mention seafood. Seafood is very healthy. Like uh, wild caught salmon, very healthy. It has healthy fats in it. There's omega threes, omega sixes I mentioned. So if you can incorporate a variety lean beef, lean pork, lean chicken, chicken breast. Get organic if you can. When I lived up in Virginia, I would go to butchers and I'd go to farms and I'd buy my beef and my chicken and my pork from stuff that was grown locally, grass-fed, kept out in the pasture, minimal drugs injected into them, etc., etc., etc. If you drink milk, look at plant-based milks. Um, a lot of cow milk, a lot of cows who have milk that you buy in the store, they're pregnant. When a female is pregnant, human or cow, they have estrogen. A lot of that milk, they estimate something like 75% of cows have, are pregnant, so they have estrogen. That, the cows that are producing milk. And so that means if you're a guy or a girl and you're getting estrogen in your milk, it may not be the best thing you need. Think about that, even for your children may not be the best thing you need. We do need calcium, we need vitamin D. Look at a label of almond milk. Protein, um, no sugar added, it has calcium added, it has vitamin D, you know, it's, I mean, it's an alternative, it's something to think about. Look at green tea, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Look at seeds, look at nuts, okay? Do what you can, do it the best you can. When you're reaching for that, reaching for that big piece of cake or that big piece of pie, is there an untouched veggie tray with some broccoli and celery and carrots over there you could nibble on instead? Instead of reaching for the cake, is there some kind of dessert made out of dates? You know, that maybe because dates are sweet, they could be in dessert products and it's fruit, but it's natural sugar. Okay, there's you always have options, choices to make. So, and with that being said, you want to stay healthy. So when you do become wealthy, healthy and wealthy, you want to stay healthy so when you do become wealthy, you can enjoy it in good health. All right. The point of this is I'm trying to help you out the best I can. Take with it what you will. Listen to some of it. Listen to all of it. Listen to none of it. It's your choice. I just got my flannel shirt on today. It's chilly here. <laughs> the fan's on up there because I didn't reach up and stop the fan. The fan's on every single time I make a video up there, a ceiling fan. Because it gets hot in here sometimes, but now it's making it a little bit cooler in here. So with that being said, y'all take care. Have a great Christmas Eve. I'll probably record a video tomorrow too on Christmas Day. So take care, stay safe in all you do. Keep loving life. Enjoy the family and friends if you're seeing some this weekend. I don't think we are. It's a quiet weekend for us. We may go out to eat lunch some, somewhere today. So with that being said, Maskey's signing out.